the little TLC, the Ruth Street Garden here in Kensington is being brought back to life. And the members of Operation Save Our City and Philly Unknown are also here to help preserve life. A good family friend um, was killed on the street by gun violence. The bigger picture here is just to bring healing to those affected by gun violence. The amount of lives affected are seemingly endless. It happens all over. It happens in the suburbs. It help. And um, unfortunately, people wait until it happens to them to become one of action when people should really do be proactive before it actually happens to them. And the gun violence is spreading. Just this weekend, six people were shot on Butler Street in North Philadelphia. In a separate incident, a man was found shot to death inside his car in Ardmore. And early Sunday morning, a 23-year-old man was killed after being shot three times on Leverington Street in Maniunk. To an extent, it's becoming expected, especially with how bad it's been in the city over the past few years, let alone this year alone. According to Philadelphia police, there have been 291 homicides in Philadelphia since the start of 2021. That's up 33% from this time last year. At this current rate, the city is on pace to surpass 2020's homicide total of 499, which was the deadliest year Philadelphia has seen in decades. People who need healing are affected by the gun violence. I mean, gun violence is affecting everybody because it's becoming rampant on every street. Making the work they do in this garden of healing more pressing than ever. Here at the garden, what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring a place of healing, a place for people to come, connect. I feel like it's so many homicides at this point that it kind of is it's motivating for me to keep going, although it's sad. But um, if we don't keep going, then the families who've just been affected won't have the help and support that they need. In Kensington, Stephen Fisher, NBC 10 News.